all right what's going on in amsterdam we got people coming off the wing we got fire down below evacuation procedures happening a lot going on um, this happened today october 28th 2021 so i'm curious on looking at this you can see it was a transavia 737 we know it's a 737 boeing has that v-shaped windows there and the 737 has that elongated dorsal it happened here at this Skyfall Amsterdam airport. Pretty big airport. Looks like it's pretty nice too. Um, the aircraft was able to get off the runways because it's such a big airport. They can get onto those taxiways and kind of deal with their emergency and not shut down the airport. So starting with this part, I believe this is what happened first. So they had the problem. They had the hot brakes. Um, and then which turned into a fire to the left main gear at some point the the pilot probably said let's evacuate um from the inside of the plane you can see you might have done the same thing as these passengers if all of these people right here stood up there was 180 passengers two minor injuries you might have got a little panicked when you heard fire as well so looking out the window this is from inside a 737 it says you look outside if you don't see fire or if you see fire you don't use this door but they didn't see fire because the fire was below them and it was small so they opened this up they pulled this out and they popped the door and you can see here zoomed in a little bit better so you would exit exit seats pop this down push the door out and get out on the wing here's uh all the evacuations so they were sitting here the people were coming off the back side of the wing just like how you're supposed to do and then you can evacuate from the slides which deploy on the front and back of this aircraft the thing that i was worried about is there's no fire on scene yet so they must have had that emergency called there's probably multiple fire stations on this airport but I don't like it when there are people just scattered all around the airport. Fire should be on scene, helping them get off the slides, and also making sure you're getting a count, keeping in touch with the pilot and with the airlines to see that you have everybody. So you can see here, I believe everybody evacuated already, but they still had that small fire. So firefighters came on scene. Um, you, they're using their high, those are called high reach extendable turrets. These are, this is really good to use, especially when you have fire underneath an aircraft, you can really get below it. And then once it's kind of out, you can use your, we have our, our fully air cameras that can show us, um, heat and you can pull your hand lines and really get in there and finish off this fire or whatever heat is left in this aircraft. And then if there was patients that couldn't get off from the wing maybe elderly you know you can come here and bring this mobile stairs make access and help them get off the aircraft this way so you can see once the people were evacuated all the all of these fire uh, fire trucks came into play and then all these high reach extendable turrets um they're really good at really pinpointing the fire saving agent and being really accurate so this is ours so if you're inside the cab you would hold this button and pull back which would bring it out of it out of the bed which is doing here if i press the button and go left it would extend that turret right there and i could also rotate it left to right and i could also bring it down to a low attack so there's mid attack high attack and low attack that's kind of how these things work these are called snozzles and we have oshkosh strikers and then here's another closer look at our vehicle. I did have an in-cab um, thorough explanation of how to use this truck. And I'll put it in the video here if you're interested. But that's what happened today. Hope you liked this video. See you guys next time.